Good morning, y'all. Good evening, good afternoon. Whatever time this message greets you. Um, shout out to Sister Nina, um, both for Christ. Oh my God, God is so strategic. And I mean, it's, it's he keeps me in awe. Um, but so I had a dream last night, uh, and woke up at 2.22 AM and in the dream, I was in the store with the counterfeit, my kingdom spouse's counterfeit. And there was another girl with us. And my kingdom spouse and his counterfeit have a baby. They have a child. And the child was not the age that he is now, but he was a little bit older. So it was me the counterfeit and there was another girl and so the counterfeit is trying to buy a new bed frame okay a new bed frame so she opens this big box and i say she's trying to ask the girl how to assemble <laughs> the bed frame to hold the bed up. And the, she, the girl was talking to her, but I say to the girl, I said, you remember there was a piece that, oh Jesus, Holy Spirit, I love you, Jesus. I said, there was a piece that once we put it in, remember we tried for like two hours and then once we put that piece in, it, um, we assembled it in like 30 minutes. So the girl was like, yeah. So I saw the comforter. There was a comforter that came in this box with the, um, frame and so when we um unraveled the comforter unraveled and there was the piece i was like that go to piece right there there's the piece right there and then the girl not the counterfeit but the girl goes and takes the uh piece and the um, frame and goes and tries to assemble it, like put bungee cords around it or something. She was putting something around it, like some type of cords around it. And as me and the counterfeit were walking, she was walking a little bit in front of me. I could see that she had yelled at her baby and was like, leave that alone, you know, something like that. And um, I could see from my angle that her shape had changed. And so, okay, let's start from the beginning. We was looking at bed frames. They, the counterfeits are looking for anything and everything to try and hold this together, to keep this up, to keep the act up, to keep the um, this relationship together. Um, they're looking for anything. So they're looking for help from outside. They're looking for just trying to, you know, like last minute scrummage and see where can I look for anything that's gonna help glue this bond together? 
glue the bun together. And so we opened the box and the girl, and I said, remember that was a piece? And the piece was wrapped in the comforter. We're talking about the Holy Spirit, okay? There is a piece, a piece, P-E-A-C-E, -E, that is wrapped only in the comfort of what God has ordained. That peace will not be found no other place. That peace will not be found no other place because the frame had come in the box, how the frame was in the box, you wouldn't have known unless you unwrapped and unraveled the comforter that the piece to hold the entire frame together was inside the comforter. And so this is God's will. If you're outside of God's will, it ain't no peace. There is no peace. Um, Psalms 127, this is scripture the Lord gave me. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen wake it but in vain. And so they were looking for this, but even still after that, the other lady that was present took the frame and tried to assemble it. The counterfeit never tried to assemble this for themselves. This shows that the agenda, the, pur the purpose, their purpose, was never to glue this together with the bond of the Holy Spirit. Their agenda was what they could get, what they can get somebody else to do for them because she never even touched the box. She never read the instruction manual. She never, none of that. So as we were walking and I realized that her shape was different. So thank God, is, things are changing. The things that, and that was one of the things that she used to kind of, you know, sway my kingdom spouse. So the things that even the child, the things that once bonded them together, no longer stand. It no longer stands. And so the girl, even with the information that I had given that the piece that was wrapped in that comforter the piece that was inside the comforter excuse me it wasn't yeah yeah the piece was inside the comforter because when it unraveled it was in the middle of the comforter you wouldn't it was such a it was such a piece it was like a little rod so it, it, it wasn't nothing, you had to, you had to be in the comforter, open the comforter, go into the comforter to see this piece. And even the girl still took cords and was trying to wrap the, um, wrap the pieces around. She was trying to wrap, cords around to hold the um the frame together and so in this god is just showing that they very well may have been told the only way that this could work is if you do it through god but that's not what they're trying to do they're trying to go and do it another way and um prop it up you know, prop it up so that it, you know, probably tries to sit or tries to, but if, it, if that piece ain't there, 
No way that thing is going to stand. No way. God is not allowing it to be. Because in the dream, only I knew where the peace was. The girl, and then the thing was, the, the time, she was looking at the time. This is the thing about the time. So when these unions come together, when God pressed play, I said, you remember it took like two hours, but then when we found the peace, it took 30 minutes. So it don't even matter how long they've been with this person. They've been trying to do whatever they've been trying to do. When God pressed play and he put that peace on the inside of the situation, okay? When he pressed play, it's going to go fast. It's going to go fast. They're going to be like, I spent all this time trying to do this, trying to do that, trying to, trying to. But the peace was not in position. The scriptures the Lord gave me for this was Psalms 127, verse 1. He didn't give me no other scriptures, but Psalms. 127 verse 1 the peace is in the comforter we know the Holy Spirit is our comforter it's God it's God so I just want to leave this with y'all that don't worry don't worry, don't stress, relax. You don't have to fight no more. This just fell in my spirit, Exodus 14, 14. It just now fell in my spirit, Exodus 14, 14. The Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. You shall hold your peace. I didn't even know that was in there. I have forgot about that. Hey, you shall hold your peace. You are the peace. The peace is in you because you're in the comforter. My residence made me this shirt, y'all. I love Jesus. Smile. My resident made me this shirt. So y'all just hold your peace. Hold your peace. Everything is going according to plan. This too shall pass. Trust the Lord and lay not to your own understanding. We are here. And because we're here, guess what? We ain't going nowhere until mission assignment is complete. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day as the Lord released me to come back on. I just want to say I love y'all and thank y'all. God's promise, his will will be done.